First of all, I want you to consider the 10 things that I'm putting forth to you and how even six years ago, this could not have happened in this country. That's how quickly things are changing. The first is the transgender athlete controversy. Okay, so there's a new NPR poll out. It's a liberal organization. Ask the question, do you support or oppose the following? Allowing transgender female student athletes to compete on women's and girls sports teams. Support 24, oppose 63. I mean, that is a colossal repudiation of having trans men compete with biological women. It's stunning. All right. 63 to 24. Yet Joe Biden, okay with it. I'm not quite figuring that out. If I have a daughter and she has to compete against a biological man who's changed his gender into a her, well, that person is going to be stronger. Is that fair? No, it's not. Then there's the trans advertising on television and some teachers promoting alternative lifestyles in schools. We all know what that controversy is. Three states have now restricted schools from teaching about gender, South Dakota, Alabama, and Florida, and more to come. Okay? So this was a big, big issue in Florida. They called it the don't say gay, and, but it wasn't really that. It was about parents saying, look, we don't want our young children to be subjected to a teacher whose views may be different than our views about social and gender issues. Okay. Then we get into the 1619 Project. Remember that? So New York Times championed this. And it basically says that America was built on slavery. The whole country was built on it. And therefore, uh, the United States owes African Americans because of that. Well, my upcoming book, Killing the Witches, um, will absolutely obliterate that theory because we start at the Mayflower and you'll see what happened uh, historically. Everything's backed up. So the 1619 Project is really propaganda. It's a political play. But what it does is it sets up permanent grievance in the African-American community because it's taught in many schools. And the black kids hear it and they go, hey, you owe me reparations, you owe me whatever, uh, equity, on and on and on. This is a permanent grievance play. Have we heard anything from Biden about this? No. No, he, he wants to all come together, but, but this is about as polarizing an issue as possible. Okay. So then we have non-punishment of criminals. So I had to do this. It, it's hard to get these stats, but I'm going to give you just one so you understand. Before COVID 2019, okay, and then 2022 after COVID, 2022, the murder rate, I'm sorry, the, this is after COVID, starting after COVID, murder rate is up 30% in the country. The murder rate, up 30%. So we are becoming a more violent Now, the left says it's because of guns, but somebody's firing those guns. And in the big cities, criminals are not being punished the way they used to be. And almost all crime is up. I mean, if you don't believe me, ask Gavin Newsom, the uber liberal mayor, uh, governor of California, who just moved the National Guard into San Francisco to restore order and cut down on the drug dealing. Okay, so it's happening. Where is Joe Biden on that? No, we don't hear a thing. Then we go to academia. On many colleges, you cannot bring in a speaker like me or anybody that goes against the progressive orthodoxy because students don't feel safe. So they only get one point of view. Everybody knows that. And then you have the admissions where skin color and ethnicity is now at the top of the list. I mean, some of the stats are amazing. So 
standardized testing thrown out in many places. And it's like, okay, we're going to take um, this group, that group, this group in college admissions. Then um, we have the wealth tax, which is seizure of private property. And again, Biden is okay with all of the things that I've mentioned, and he's okay with the wealth tax. The wealth tax basically taxes what you have, not what you sell for income. It's what you have. So the tax man will come in and assess your car value, your house value, property value, your jewels, your collectibles. And then every year in Massachusetts, you pay 4% on that. That's the only state that's passed it, but Oregon, Washington, New York, Hawaii, Connecticut, California, Illinois, and Maryland are introducing wealth taxes. Biden's okay. Pay your fair share. But that's confiscation of private property. Government can't confiscate 4% of your private property. It will be ruled unconstitutional. I know it will be because the Constitution gives the power to the federal government to tax income, money that coming in to you, not possessions. Okay, that's socialism. Then the entertainment industry, I can't tell you how the movie, television, publishing industries have collapsed because the projects that they are developing are almost 100% woke. The only exception on television is Blue Bloods, the CBS program that I know of. Everything else is woke. And the traditional audience is going, we don't want it. When was the last time you went to a movie theater? I was a big movie fan. Last time I went to a movie theater was the James Bond movie, the last one, which was so horrible because it was all woke. And my late friend, Sean Connery, I mean, I can't even imagine what he would have said had he been here. Uh, Then uh, the acceptance of degrading public behavior. This is colossal if you live in a big or mid-sized city. So now people defecate, urinate on the streets, consume narcotics on the streets with children being able to see all of this. This is degrading behavior, which used to be punished. If you did it on the street, you were punished. Now you're not. And this is a huge problem in every urban center. And it's the kids. The kids are sitting there, what's that needle? I mean, San Francisco is, again, the show place for this, but it's happening everywhere. It's absolutely unbelievable. Then you have the final is a tax on the Catholic Church. And this is an underreported story the media didn't want anything to do with. Since the decision to give abortion law back to the states, there have been at least 147 attacks on Catholic churches across the country. 147. Do you hear about that? Now, if a synagogue is attacked, everybody hears about it. Mosque? Everybody hears about it. Catholic Church? They even defaced St. Patrick's Cathedral, the largest church in New York City and the most prominent Catholic church in the nation. They caught the defacers who were spray painting F.U. on the cathedral on videotape. They arrested, the police arrested them. No charges. Alvin Bragg. No charges. The damage, I talked to the Cardinal, was about... $30,000, $40,000, no charges. The chairman of the Fed is promising more pain ahead. Last year's stocks dropped a whopping 20%. 2023 could be worse. You are right to be worried. So call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Since I've been a client and spokesperson, the price of gold has appreciated more than 35%. So please call today and they'll have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door 
or put inside your IRA or 401k. They have thousands of satisfied customers and have the highest rating in the country with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. Please tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they will give you up to $5,000 of free silver on your first order. Please call 866-501-5201. That's 866-501-5201, or text Bill to 65532. Again, that's 866-501-5201, or text Bill to 65532. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.